So I, I think it wasn't until I was about five months pregnant that they started showing and or acting differently. You watching TV? Mm hmm Before, until I had the bump, um, and until you could see little kicks coming out, so you know how your bump will move slightly, um, and then suddenly they felt it when they were just lying on me. That's when they started becoming really engaged and inquisitive, and I'm sure that they did know what was happening, looking back at it now. Um, but it was amazing to see that just it was it was literally like one day everything changed, and they just wanted to lay on the bump and be as close to me as possible. And they became a lot more protective. A period of time, bearing in mind throughout pregnancy, I've been pretty much home all day, every day with them. So it was, it was just me being away from them as well. And um, so what we did is, whilst I was in hospital, Shane brought one of the blankets home with the bed that smelled like the baby to try and slowly introduce them. Um, and then it was about day five that I came home um, and we decided to do it just one by one um, because otherwise I think it would be a bit too overwhelming to have all three pets introduced at the same time. Um, and, and yeah, they were really, they were, Phil was, wasn't as gentle as Nico. I don't think he realises how big he is. Um, and he was so excited. He's definitely calmed down now. Um, but Nico, she knew, and she, you could see her just sort of edging up. She was so delicate around Mia and Milo, my cat. He was absolutely petrified. <laughs> oh, good boy. Bye. <laughs> for some cultures to see the pets being upstairs in bedrooms on furniture um, let alone the size of them next to the baby but th that's the breed that we chose I like big pets as you can probably tell um, and I know them I've raised them since they were 10 weeks old themselves I obviously would never leave them unattended with her at any point I'm always there might be behind the camera but I'm always next to her um, but no I think I, I, I just know my pets, I know what cues, I know when they've had enough, I know, um, I just know their behaviour and I trust them completely. Um, well, I had the dogs first, so I guess I knew my dog's behaviour with the baby, which I think helps. Um, I think bringing in a new dog to a baby I think you really, if, especially if you're adopting a, an, an older dog, you need to make sure that you know what their personality traits like and take advice from the adoption centres. Um, but for me, um, no, I think uh, I'm not worried about the pets around the baby. I know I get a lot of comments around pet hair um, and um, the baby and allergies and everything else, but it's, there's an interesting Netflix documentary called Babies, which shows you that it is scientifically proven that a baby that is around pets is less likely to grow up with asthma, with allergies. It's good to keep them socialised. So from that aspect, I think that, that uh, socialising and having a child grow up with pets and having a responsibility. Yeah.